Hello everyone. Welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So in this video, I'll be telling you about the important interview question that is frequently asked in the interviews. It is about what are interfaces in Java and which are the interfaces that you have used in your automation testing. So it becomes very important that you should be able to explain this particular answer in the theoretical manner as well as the practical manner as well. Many a times people do get confused whether WebDriver is an interface or it's a class. It's an interface itself, right? So we will be explaining you in this particular video, what do you mean by interface and which are the interfaces that you can use in automation testing, right? So don't worry about this uh, digital product. So let me share one more thing with you. So this digital product link I'll be putting in the comment section as well as in the description of the video. You don't need to pay anything. This is absolutely a free digital product which you can avail directly without paying anything. It is free of cost and it will assist you in the testing interviews. Because see, yesterday itself, I got a call from one of my subscribers. She got the same question, but she was unable to explain. And unfortunately, she got rejected. So it becomes very important that you are able to answer these kind of questions when they are asked in the interview. So today we would be discussing the answer of this particular question itself. And apart from this, if you will see, so this entire playlist, all the videos that would be getting uploaded in this playlist would be focusing on automation testing interview questions as well only. Right. So now one more good thing that I would like to share with you is about your love and support has made us a kind of a nominated for the TopMate Awards. So TopMate has come up with an awards for their creators who are creating some kind of products, who are creating some kind of services on TopMate. And these are all the categories for which RD Automation Learning has been nominated. So I would request every one of you to please hit the upvote button for all the categories and see if you will hit the upvote button, you will get the special prizes. You'll get special discounts in all the other products as well. So I cannot reveal the how much percent of discount, but yes, it's definitely X percent of discount that you would get. Okay. So it would be somewhere more than 15%. That's what I am expecting because see, whomsoever is upvoting, whomsoever is nominating us for all these categories, they would be able to get all these discounts. So I would request every one of you to please hit the upvote button and it is it is simple. You just have to go to this particular URL and you have to click on vote now button for all the categories, right? So it has been a marvelous journey so far with the top mate. We have been crossing 5,000 plus bookings on the top mate itself. So let's move to the question itself now. So this is a digital product that I have already uploaded on the top mate. I'll be sharing the link also with you in the description. So first of all, let us understand what are interface in Java. Okay. So these are the exam. This is one of the example of interface. Now what is happening here? So you are defining one interface and within that you are defining two methods. Now, whenever you are being asked this interview question, what is interface? So interface is same as that of a class, but, but you cannot create the objects for those particular interfaces. The methods would have the names, the methods would have signatures, but they don't have the body, right? So it becomes very important for the class. So this is one of the class, which is implementing the interface that you have defined. So that class responsibility is to define the body of the methods, which are being defined in the interface. So you can take an example, of uh, a simple situation when you are trying to cross the road and you see one of the senior citizen or one of the old age person who is unable to cross the road. So you need to assist them in crossing the road. So you are acting as a class here. That particular person is acting as an interface here. And you also have to make sure that whichever vehicles are coming, they should not hit the senior citizen to whom you are accompanying, right? So it becomes your responsibility to make them cross the road safely. It becomes a class responsibility to create the objects, to create the method body for that particular methods which are defined in the interface. Simple, straightforward. So you have got two methods there in the interface, public void method one, public void method two, and you can see you have got semicolon. You don't have body for these particular methods. Now what is, what is next? So you have class demo, 
which is implementing my interface. Okay. And then you are defining the methods here. Simple, right? Okay. So this is the example of an interface. You might get in an interview, what are nested interfaces? So an interface which is declared inside another interface or a class is called as a nested interface. It is also known as inner interface. Then these are the key points that you need to remember about interfaces. So you cannot instantiate an interface in Java, right? You cannot create the object of an interface, right? Interface provides full abstraction as none of its methods have body, right? So one more important question, what is the difference between interface and abstract methods? So abstract method can contain your concrete methods and your abstract methods as well, right? So they can contain the methods with a body. They can contain the methods without the body as well. That's the problem with the abstract classes. So you cannot tell that your abstract classes are providing you 100% of abstraction, which is possible via interface only. In interface, all the methods, mandatory, compulsory, they don't have to tell the, they don't have to define the body of those methods. So it would be abstract only. So 100% of abstraction can be achieved via interface. Implements is a keyword, right? Interface cannot be declared as private, protected. Why? Why? Very, very clear, logically. So another class would be implementing it. If it's a private, then you cannot implement it, right? So think like, think of this particular example. Uh, if you have taken a oath that you won't be consuming pizzas. So anyone who is coming to you and they are offering pizza, so they you will not consume because you have taken an oath. You are going to gym, you are following healthy things. Right. So you will not consume pizza. Right. So it's simple like that. You cannot declare them as a private because private is what if you declare something as private, it is restrained. It is restricted to that particular class only. So you cannot declare it as a private. Right. So by default, those are abstract and those are public. Variables declared in interface are public, static and final by default. Now, which are the interfaces that you are you have used in the automation testing? OK. So these days, the interviews have taken up a bit more of a complexity. They won't ask you direct questions. They will ask you the questions and how is the implementation? What is the logic behind that? So is your concept clear? Are you really working in automation? So these all things will assist the interviewer to come to these kind of conclusions. So which are the interfaces in automation? So see, web driver is an interface. Web element is an interface. Takes screenshot is an interface. See, within web driver, you have all these methods. You have many more methods. I have listed down few of the methods here. You have web element interface. You have all these methods within web element. Click, send keys, get text, is displayed. You have take screenshot as an interface, right? Many a times people do get confused in the interviews. How do you capture the screenshot? So you have to tell, sir, I'm taking, I'm using take screenshot as an interface. So 50% of answer you are giving like this, even if rest of the 50% you are unable to give, they are looking for immediate joiners, they'll hire you for sure. Then JavaScript executor interface, alert interface, navigation interface, options interface, right? So these are all your interfaces which are available in the automation testing, which you are using day in and day out. So you have to explain about these particular interfaces, right? So that's it for this particular video. Thank you so much for watching this video and let me share this link as well in the comment section and the description. So this is a free digital product that I'm providing to you for this particular question. What are interfaces in Java and which are the interfaces that you have used in automation testing, right? And apart from that, one last request to every one of you to please vote for us as we have been nominated in multiple categories on TopMate. So you can see TopMate is nominating RD Automation Learning for top mid savvy, top mid disruptor of the year, top mid rising star. So all these categories we have been nominated. So I'll be requesting every one of you to please vote for us. And if you can vote, then you will get discounts as well in return from the top mid itself, right? So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates.